Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, DeBoss, with another video for you guys for today. Uh, today, guys, I actually intended to have a interview video out with another guy. Unfortunately, there's a bit of a malfunction with getting the clips and whatnot, but working that out, hopefully we'll have that video done for tomorrow. So, we'll see. If not, I got another video planned anyway, but regardless. Uh, today, guys, I figured I'd do a little first impressions video. Now, I did a first impressions video about Fortnite a little while back, and this isn't an official review of a game, because personally, games like what I'm about to review for today, it has to have more of like a story and whatnot. You know what I mean? Did I say review meant first impressions? It needs to have more of like a story and many other elements to actually review it. But I'll be giving my first impressions of the brand new app game that was released two days ago at the time that I'm recording this. Bendy and Nightmare Run, based off of the hit indie horror classic, Bendy and the Ink Machine. So guys, I guess I'll start by giving my first impressions on the game. First off, this game's amazing. If you don't have it downloaded on your phone and you're a fan of Bendy or you want to go uh, check out the game... I would recommend you do that. The point and premise of the entire game is you get to play as a cast of characters from the original Bendy series, Bendy, Boris, and Alice Angel. You basically run through these different level stages, which are based off in like a black and white 1930s cartoon style, which is great. Each set of levels is based off in like an episode. There's four of them right now. Hopefully, uh... We will actually end up getting some more episodes in the future, hopefully that the Meatly, the guy who made the game, will eventually release some more updates, but it's really cool. So there's four different episodes. Uh, the enemies include a giant monster treasure chest, a giant robot, a giant can of soup, and a monster taxi. And no, I'm not joking. And from what I've played, the entire premise of the game is you run through these levels. It's like a, uh, I forget what you would call them, but they're like running stages where you have to keep avoiding obstacles and enemies and whatnot, and you have to run to the end of the stage. The whole point of these stages is not only to avoid enemy attacks and, like, defeat the boss by throwing anvils, um... There's some uh, axes, there's a couple of other things in that you can pick up in-game. And there's a couple of uh, things of bacon soup, and when I mean a couple, I mean a million times of it. That's basically going to be your currency for the game, which you can use to buy upgrades for your characters. You can buy costumes for them, including those golden suits, but that's a lot of soup. And to unlock the other three episodes, you start off with one. To unlock the other three, you have to have a certain number of bacon soup, and... While it might seem like a lot when you see 5,000 to unlock the next one, it's not that hard. You play for a little bit, you'll have a ton of bacon soup. Yeah, but from what I've found, though, this game actually is pretty dang good. Um, I'm not going to lie, though. The There's a couple of problems that I do have with it, but overall, the graphics are really amazing. The gameplay is amazing. I love the Bendy franchise, so maybe, you know, it seems a little bit biased, but just it being a regular app game with all the stuff it has available into it is really great. They have really cool power-ups that you can get with the bacon soup besides upload, like, besides, it, I'm not joking, it is the currency. So, like, besides, like, the different levels and episodes you can unlock, you can also unlock, like I mentioned, costumes. You can also, and this is really good for any Bendy the Ink Machine fan, as you progress through the game, there's five different acts throughout the game, right? There's, like, first four levels, I guess you call it, then, like, the final level, and each one gets progressively harder, where you have to take out the big boss of that episode, and various little, my little bosses and whatnot that you have to avoid and constantly deal with, which is really cool, all the while you're running with your character. Which is really awesome. Another system, uh, but I'll get back to that in a second. But one feature that I really did like, by the way, too, was each character, Bendy, Boris, and Alice, each have their own character traits. Uh, Bendy's just a well-balanced character. Alice, I know that she has less health, but she can collect more bacon soups. So that means you'll get more currency, but you'll have less health. And I forget what Boris's is. If somebody knows, let me know, I guess. But I forget what but Boris's, I thought was pretty good, too, from what I remember. But the cool other thing that you can do with the currency that I touched on earlier was, for any Bendy fan... The more bacon soup you collect and the more achievements that you get in the game, you can unlock access to the merch shop. Now, the merch shop's open, but more and more merchandise becomes available to you to actually buy in the app and have shipped to your house, which is really cool. So they have the in-game store, and it gives you a lot more incentive as a reward than, yeah, the other stuff in the in-game's cool. But merch that you can buy exclusively to the game... That is amazing. That is a great achievement. That was a great idea that the Meatly, and I believe the name, uh, Mike Mood is the guy's name, the other lead developer. Really amazing idea. I've never seen that implemented in an app game before, and that's it's pretty cool. 
Now, as far as my experience goes, now that we have the information for the game out of the way, I'll touch on this briefly. My experience with the game was pretty good. I really love it. Again, as a fan of the Bendy series, maybe that seems a bit biased to some people, but I think it's a really great app game with all the features that I mentioned, regardless of if you're a fan or not. If you are, if that's great. If not, I'd recommend checking it out because it is a really awesome game. Um, other than that, the graphics, the art style, the amazing, uh, you know, display and all the detail that went into this game was really great, and I had a fun time playing it. I'm still playing it. I'm just trying to save it with bacon soup to get all the other stuff that I want to get from the other levels, which is really cool. Um, one thing, though, that I really hope gets fixed, and I did look up some reviews, some people were having problems, like, don't get me wrong, a ton of people loved the game, but one issue that I've seen and I've experienced was the controls. At certain points in certain stages, um, as it goes on and on more and more, as you're avoiding more enemy obstacles and you're getting to further stages, it gets harder to control Bendy or whoever you're playing as. The controls can lock up and get stiff, and they can delay, which is not good, especially when you're avoiding obstacles and trying not to die in the level. So this might be a little glitch in the game. It might be a bug. I don't know what it is, but it does happen occasionally, so keep that in mind as well. Not saying don't get the app based off that, but that is a little bit of a pre-warning, at least at this point. At least at this time in this video. I don't know if it'll be fixed at a later date. Hopefully it will. Because it does get a little annoying. It happens not all the time, but sometimes. And it can really mess you up when you're trying to go for a really a really good rating for the levels. What I'm trying to say there. But other than that though, the game, great experience so far for me. And that's going to do for today's video for me, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this first impressions video. Um, I really am enjoying this game. I would recommend you guys checking it out if you haven't already. And if you have, uh, hopefully you're having a great time with it. I honestly do, especially for all you Bendy the Ink Machine fans and or people who are just now getting into it. But with all that in mind, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you guys did enjoy it, give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new with that bell notification on to catch my future videos and future live streams here on the channel if you wish. And comment down below if you guys thought of today's first impressions video, as well as letting me know uh, what you guys think of the app if you have played it or just giving your overall thoughts in general. With all that in mind, guys, thank you once again for watching, and until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Peace out, bosses.